once again joining the round table the man who covers penn state better than anybody else in the entire industry been covering penn state for over 15 years now from blue white illustrated the publisher sean fitz sean how we doing it's about time for football feeling old man over 15 years gotta drop that my grays i tried to trim them down here a little bit so i wouldn't feel that way but it's august we're rejuvenated uh football camp is in the air I, you know, it's just a couple of weeks can't wait man you're polished that's all it is you're you're, you're polished because you, you started covering them as an intern and now you're you're obviously a little bit more into your career side of things but we're grateful for the work that you do folks you haven't yet got a membership to blue eye illustrated do that right now but you like you said sean i mean fall camp football is in the air and a lot of people in happy valley are extremely excited about what drew aller is going to bring to the table what is the early buzz as it pertains to how that offense maybe looks a little bit different with him at quarterback I don't think it looks much different. I mean, Mike Yersich is going to stick to his style. And it's interesting when you take a look at Drew Aller and you look at Bo Prabula, who's, uh, you know, the, I would say the projected backup. It's still a battle right now, but James Franklin acknowledged last week that uh, Aller was getting more reps with the first team, which is the expected outcome, right? I mean, that's the that's what we've been talking about for a long time. But I don't think it's that much different. You've still got the running game. You've got the offensive line. And I think when you talk about the, uh, the production and bringing along Drew Aller is you've got these other things that can set him up to be great. When you're talking about getting his feet wet, getting him used to things in September, that running game with Nick Singleton and Katron Allen, that offensive line, receiver's still a bit of a work in progress, but then you've got that defense that's going to likely keep the score on the other side down. It, it just sets up really well for his development, sets up well for him to get comfortable, and there's there's only so much that you can simulate throughout uh, preseason camp, throughout the summer, all the stuff that they do off the field, but when you have that cushion, when you have that ability to get going, West Virginia's right off the bat, then they get to, they get Delaware, then they go to Illinois, which can be a tricky one. We talked about that last time I was on. Um, but it, it sets you up for success, and it, or it sets him up for success in terms of what he's able to do to become the player that, that many think he is. He's thrown the ball really well in camp right now, and he's a, he's – Definitely. I mean, he's, you just look at him He's six, five, two forty. got the, you know, this is the, this is the prototype right here. So uh, I think that that's what we'll see. And as he continues to come along and handle the mental aspect of the game, that, that, that ceiling is very high for a reason. And fall camp is so fun because everybody's undefeated, right? And a big, big zero in the loss column for everybody in the country, but also you get a good temperature for different guys who are maybe newer faces that could contribute. Maybe not a new face, but but who's turning heads right now in Happy Valley when it comes to fall camp? Well, I think all the uh, the the attention is to those wide receivers. And and it's very interesting because Penn State went out, got, got Dante Cephas from Kent State, but a guy like Amari Evans, who was here and played as a true freshman last year, former high school quarterback, got adjusted to the game last year. He's a guy that can step up and give them something, uh, maybe as a third wide receiver, maybe as a fourth guy, you know, just uh, jockeying with Cephas at that point. But the interesting point I'm trying to make here is when you ask anyone at Penn State, it's a one-two situation with Keandre Lambert-Smith and Trey Wallace, and then it's everybody else. So they're going to have to figure out that depth and everything, but they also need to figure out that number one situation. It seems like it's Keandre Lambert-Smith. He's talented enough. He's a really he, he really came on at the end of the 2023 season, and the Rose Bowl had the big catch against Utah. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that's, that's one that they have to continue to figure out because, as we talked about, Drew Aller is set up for success with the running game, the offensive line, the tight ends. Very good. Theo Johnson, I think, is is primed to have a big year. But those receivers are still going to have to come along. So can you figure out the top of that group with Keandre Lambert-Smith being an ace? Can you figure out the depth in that group and, and try and give those guys around him help? I think that's the big storyline when you're talking about guys that have the opportunity to step up in preseason camp. Yeah, Keandre Lambert-Smith, I mean, stick a dynamite, it feels like, when he's out there wide receiver. What he did in the Rose Bowl, I think, opened a lot of people's eyes on a national level. Excited mm -hmm. to see what he does in, in 2023. Buzz is a word that kind of gets thrown around a lot in fall camp, but I, but I think it's very real because the pads start coming on and you start actually game planning for teams. And, and when, when it comes to, excuse me, when it comes to Happy Valley and State College, what is the, the buzz right now for, for this team? Well, we had media day last weekend, and there was so much talk about depth, depth on the offensive line, but specifically depth on the defensive side of the ball. Penn State's defense should be great. Like, they should be like top of the NCA, Big Ten, whatever, they should be there. Like the potential is certainly there. They've got a lot of depth. They've got a lot of bodies replacing some guys that, you know, Joey Porter Jr. off to the NFL, number 32 pick, Jair Brown, who did so much for this team last year. So you've got to replace those guys, but they have cultivated depth in a way that sets themselves up so well for 2023. Um, I think the couple times that I've been on this show, 
so much of the focus has been on Drew and the offense and how that's going to come together. But this defense, as I said, should put them in a position to be in at least be in every ball game, be ahead in every ball game, and then possibly turn it into points. I mean, this is a you don't say that about a defense very often, but this is a takeaway focused defense. Manny Diaz has made things exciting. They go after the quarterback. They blitz from every level. Uh, they have had takeaways. They're going to have to replace Jair Brown's takeaways because he has just been phenomenal the last couple of years. But it seems like they have the talent to do that. You look at the safeties. Uh, K.J. Winston's guy I'm uh, like irrationally high on, and he's not even a starter yet. The linebackers, they've got Abdul Carter and, and Curtis Jacobs playing the outside. You're not going to find too many pairs of faster outside linebackers. So they've got speed, they've got depth, they've got talent. And I think that's the most exciting part. It, it doesn't score the points. And we're going to talk about the offense, all, you know, all the way up until September 2nd. But that defense is, is in a position where everybody can benefit going around there. Yeah, Sean, you said it, I think at the end of our last thing, when we got to do and before we got on air here, you're like, we need to talk about this Penn State defense. Like Drew Aller is going to be great. We're excited about him. You know, he's got a ton of ability, a ton of tools, but this defense and Sean, like to your point, defense wins championships it's it's cliche it's coach speak but like it's it's cliche and coach speak for a reason look at michigan look at georgia like that, being solid on the defensive side of the ball is what gets you ultimately to like the top of the mountain no absolutely i mean you look at where penn state was in the third quarter at michigan last year i think they were down two or three and all of a sudden the floodgates open i mean that's a, that that's what you see that's the difference between uh grinding out a tough game on the road in the Big Ten. They're going to Columbus this year, always tough for everybody that, that goes to Columbus this year. So just keep them in the game, and you have the talent to hang around for Nick Singleton to break a 70-yard run. You have the talent for those those tight ends to open some things up. So I think that this is the type of team, and it's preseason top 10 team. I don't think they're sneaking up on anybody, but this, this is the type of team that can stay in every game and pull those out. Uh, it's going to come down to coaching. It's going to come down to execution with the uh, with the new quarterback and things like that. But, I mean, on the, on the laundry list of problems that Penn State has had over the years coming into seasons, you know, it seems pretty low. So I think that uh, this defense is, has the ability to make everybody else better. Man, well, I can't wait. I can't wait. I think I speak for a lot of people when I say Penn State is one of those teams that a lot of people were probably already paying attention to last year because they're one of the best teams in the Big Ten. But like in terms of a real college football playoff contender, we're talking about Penn State uh, in a very exciting way right now in August. That's Sean Fitz. Get a membership at Blue Eye Illustrated. Going to keep you in the know for all things Penn State. Follow Sean on Twitter. Sean, appreciate you, man. Almost time for college football to get started. We'll talk again real soon. Thanks, man. I appreciate you having me on. Penn State fans, if you like that video, make sure you go get yourself a membership over at Blue White Illustrated. Going to keep you in the know for all things involving your Nittany Lions. Also, make sure you subscribe right here to the On3 Roundtable YouTube channel.